คุณผู้ชมคะที่ประเทศญี่ปุ่นซึ่งเข้าสู่สังคมสูงวัยก็มีปัญหาเรื่องขัดแคลนแรงงานโดยเฉพาะหนึ่งในนั้นก็คือแรงงานในอุตสาหกรรมการก่อสร้างนะคะญี่ปุ่นก็เลยพัฒนาเทคโนโลยีเพื่อที่จะตอบโจทย์การขาดแคลนแรงงานในวงการนี้ค่ะติดตามในอาเซียนคอนเน็กกับคุณชิวลิปนาคสมภพเราค่ะอาเซียนคอนเน็กวันนี้นะคะเราจะต่อสายตรงไปพูดคุยกับผู้สื่อข่าวจากฟุกโกกับประเทศญี่ปุ่นค่ะคุณซากุโกะตอนนี้อยู่ในสายกับเราแล้วนะคะมีเรื่องราวเกี่ยวกับการแก้ปัญหาขาดแคลนแรงงานในสังคมสูงอายุในประเทศญี่ปุ่นให้เราฟังค่ะ So the story today is about how certain industry use automation to help fix the problem of lack of labor right Yes correct You know the Japanese machinery makers are developing more unmanned construction equipment to help builders cope with labor shortages. And for example, Hitachi Construction Machinery is developing hydraulic excavators that can dig a construction site without a human operator for each device. Mm -hmm. And the autonomous machine uses sensors at the work site. To detect soil conditions and to position itself, and the company is aiming to put the diggers into a practical use within a few years. And the worker of Hitachi Construction Machinery said, uh, "The system allows one person to operate multiple machines, and that will help reduce the number of workers needed at the construction site." And the Hitachi Construction Machinery. Rival Komatsu has developed a system for remote control of heavy machinery, mm -hmm. and Komatsu's testing apparatus shows an operator sitting in what looks like an aircraft cockpit, and seven monitor screens show a worksite from various angles, allowing the equipment to be run remotely. And the labor shortages have been affecting Japanese industries, including builders, as the population shrinks and ages. So the government figures show uh, more than a third of construction workers are at least 55 years old. So hmm. we're aging society. That's the problem. Yeah, I think Japan is one of the first nation in the world actually enter aging society. Thailand is now aging society too, but I think oh. Japan has been trying to um, deal with the problem mm. very innovatively, though, like using technology mm -hmm. and all that, right, with the automated uh, stuff. But uh, beside construction industry, where else do mm -hmm. you see in Japan? Like you walk around the street, where else do you see normally with all this? Technology. If I go to the restaurant, they all like automated, you mm. know. So I order, you know, using machines. So there's no cost. I mean, there's a, no like uh, the clerks there. Mm. So I can buy it like so, a self service. And mm. uh, the mail sir, the mail system too. Recently, mm. in the, like a Tokyo, uh, they deliver uh, the package by uh, if, like a machine. Ah. Oh. You know, like little robot. Yeah. Okay, yes. Exactly. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But that's mean. Mm -hmm. also, that's also mean infrastructure in Tokyo or any city that use robot to deliver the uh, post things uh, should be a little better. I mean, like mm -hmm. if it's uneven road or bad condition mm -hmm. building, all that the robot might have difficult time to navigate around, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And uh, I checked the, like I said, that Japan is getting an aging society. Uh, I checked the number of like uh, the age 100 and years older. And uh, can I ask a question? In Japan, like 60 years ago, like 1963, how many people aged like over 100 mm. and over? Do you know? Can you guess the number? In Japan. Of In Japan, more than 100 years old. How many? I don't really in Japan? know, but I know when we when we talk about age well, healthy mm -hmm. aging, I think Japanese is one of those people that actually you know almost a hundred and still look pretty healthy. Well, the, like sixty years ago, one hundred age years old and older is like one hundred fifty three people only, 
But in 2020, about three years ago, it's like uh, age 108 years old and over. It's like 80,450 people in Japan. 80,000! So, but that shows so, that uh, Japanese people know how to take care of themselves though, right? I think so, but uh, <laughs> there those people, those 80,000 people are not like healthy. Some people like staying, you know, laying in bed all day well, yeah, or because something they're like that. So, yeah, so we, we have another, you know, problem for aging society. And like I, I, I chose this topic today because um, I respect uh, aged workers mm. because they have really good skills, mm. such as construction site. However, you know, their bodies may not be like healthy or strong as they used to be. Right. So it's a good idea to use machines to help them. Mm. And uh, there are more workers from foreign countries. Mm. And uh, but some people, they don't understand the Japanese language yet. Right. So it is dangerous to work at like some high places at the mm. construction site. Mm. They don't know, like, the, they don't understand the Japanese word. Like, maybe it's a dangerous, but they don't understand something mm. like that. So language it's a good barrier. idea. That, yeah, language barrier. So once again, it's a good idea to use, like, machinery for the construction. And the more developed, the, 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 mm. the less it will cost, too, I think. Yeah, I think so, yes. Well, thank you very much for the story today. Nice to see you again. Mm. Okay, thank nice you. Nice apartment. Oh, thank you. I love it. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. อ่ะล่ะค่ะแล้วนั่นก็เป็นหนึ่งในวิธีที่ญี่ปุ่นใช้เทคโนโลยีในการจัดการกับปัญหาสังคมสูงวัยการขาดแคลนแรงงานนะคะโดยเฉพาะในอุตสาหกรรมก่อสร้างค่ะนั่นคือทั้งหมดในอาเซียนคอนเนควันนี้ค่ะ